Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over a new event that has been announced which is going to be another rocket takeover so you're going to be able to TM away frustration as well as a new shadow legendary being introduced from Giovanni we're going to go over that and then we're going to be going and brushing over the Galarian event in which shiny Zacian is going to be introduced and you're going to be able to evolve your coughing into Galarian wheezing so if you have a shiny that's going to be good as well as a shadow we're going to talk about that first we're going to go ahead and go over the new information regarding the rocket event which is going to be going down october 8th at 12 a.m until friday october 11th at 8 p.m local time bonuses are going to be tingo rocket will appearing be appearing more frequently at the pokestops as well as the balloons and you can use an what elite charge it a regular tm to remove frustration on your shadow pokemon do not use an elite tm just a regular charge all right so you're going to be seeing shadow heatran entering into the scene here i will be using it and again I, i'm still beating myself over the head for using three giovanni radars to get a good Kyogre Shadow, in which I did not. All right, love, 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 lovely. So I guess I'll be using my only one for this. All right, so you have the Shadow Heatran. That's gonna be a very nice introduction and it will be putting in the work for sure. It's definitely gonna be something you wanna power up. All right, so the leaders are gonna be using different Shadow Pokemon. Uh, in addition, Team Go Rocket has also turned the following Pokemon to, to Shadow Pokemon. So you are gonna be seeing Shadow Caterpie, Shadow Mankey, Shadow Rock and Rolla, Shadow Vinapede, Carablast, and Shelmet. So we're looking at, ooh, let's see here. Which, which one's gonna be the most interesting here? I guess Shadow Annihilate, pretty freaking amazing. Uh, it did go down a bit, unfortunately, because Counter was uh, debuffed, so it's not doing as much damage. Uh, but as far as Shadow Escavalier, that's going to be pretty interesting, right? Also, another counter user that got nerfed, but we have new shadows coming in here. Um, the other ones could be interesting. A lot of poison damage from Vinopede's evolution, for sure. Uh, taking a look at the one-star shadow raids, you do have Machop, Grimer, Execute, and Pseudo Wudo. In the three-star raids, you have Pinsir, Sableye, and Mawile. Get that shadow shiny Mawile, folks. Let's go. Wait. Wait. Yeah, shiny, Shadow Shiny, sh yeah, Mawile, yeah, let's go. I still don't have one of those. Uh, you're going to see research that will lead you to components, charge TMs, and quick TMs, all right? And then, of course, like usual, in typical fashion, there will be bundles in the shop. We're not going to really go over those too much here. Uh, all right, now moving it on to the event that we are going to be seeing happening. What is this? on the 26th, so that's tomorrow, all right? Well, it depends on where you're at. Uh, so yeah, September 26th at 10 a.m. until Tuesday, October 1st at 8 p.m. local time. This is gonna be the Legendary Heroes event in which you're gonna get uh, special trades will require 50% less Stardust. Coughing will be able to evolve into Galarian Wheezing for this time. So you have from September 26th until October 1st to evolve your coughings into the Galarian Weezings. Shinies, Shadow, or Shiny Shadow, we're gonna take a look at mine as well. They did a similar thing for Execute as well. You were able to evolve your Execute into the other form and actually have a Shadow, one of those Galarians, which is pretty nice. So keep that in mind, it is a fear of missing out event, so make sure you make one. Uh, and then if you do have a coughing for the Rocket event, let me see here, let me go back. So, oh, actually it's gonna be taking place afterwards so yeah, you're not gonna be able to remove frustration until after the fact. But here, here was here's what you can do. You can still evolve your Shadow Coughing into Galarian Wheezing, and then when we get the Rocket event, you use uh, a Charge TM to remove frustration if you haven't done so yet. So there is that bit of information and a little bit of a tip there for you. Taking a look at the spawns, you are going to see, there's gonna be two different paths. You got Shield Path, you have Sword Path. So for the spawns for, let's see, what is this gonna be? Uh, oh, these are just going to be the regular spawns. So you have Galarian Ponyta, Coughing, Galarian Darumaka, Grookey, Scorbunny, Swabble, and Skullvet. Now, if you go down the Sword Path, your incense spawns are going to be C Dot, Scraggy, Gothitelle, Dino, Swirlix, and Pazamane. So you do have that. I personally still haven't chosen yet. Honestly, I, maybe the Sword Path. I guess uh, Shield Path. You do have off of the incense spawns are going to be Larvitar, Lotad, uh, Crow Gunk, Solosis. Swirlix and a Rangaroo. I mean, it's really up to you on your preference. I honestly want a shiny Scraggy and Swirlix, so I think I might just do that. Uh, but at the same time, I'll take a Spritzy shiny, but everything else in that category I don't really care about, except Krogunk, but I don't need another one. So you have those. One star raids are going to be Galarian Ponyta, Galarian Darumaka, Gumi, Jengmo. Oh, 
Three star raids are going to be Turtonator and Drampa, and then the five star raids are going to be of course, Zacian with its new shiny form, all right? So I will be accepting those invites. And again, if I don't accept your invites when you invite me to raids, it's because I'm simply just not looking at my phone or I'm just busy. I'm not ignoring you on purpose, believe me. And I thank you for all the invites. And then you're gonna see also a mega Gardevoir raid. Uh, pretty good mega for sure, as far as fairy type attacking is concerned. Uh, and then let's see here, time research with a path. All right, so you get to pick your path. So trainers will be able to access free branch time research that awards items, XP, status, and an encounter with a theme Pokemon that are determined by which path you pick, all right? So we have all that good stuff going on here. And now let's go ahead and start this video. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at my stuff. So I do have this shiny shadow coughing that I obviously will be evolving into Galarian Weezing here. It does have frustration already removed from the last event. I've had this thing since 2020, so nearly three years now. Uh, and then, that's a pretty much it. I'll make maybe a hundred, I'll make a hundred because I have 200 coughings. Um, but I am so happy I did not evolve this. I wasn't thinking, oh, we're going to be able to evolve this into Galarian Weezing one day. I just, there was no point to evolve it. I was thinking maybe Community Day coughing. So I was just holding on to that there. Now for counters for Zacian, Steel types, you have uh, Dusk Mane, Metal Claw, and Sun Steel Strike. That's going to be your number one Steel type attacker. Just put Metal Claw on that thing. And obviously you need the Sun Steel Strike maximum damage so that is going to be there you also do have nihiligo poison and sludge bomb use steel and poison whatever your best steel and poison types are basically metagross shadow metagross that is going to be essentially your best counters aside from dusk main just put that one up front damage will be unbelievable uh and then you do have various different ones dialga has metal claw i don't think you want to use a dialga to go up against his asia but i mean the thought is out there there's much better <laughs> steel types that you can use for sure uh even a uh, uh mel metal with uh it's double iron bash uh and then of course you do have heatran itself let's see if it has nope no steel quick move so you can forget about that so essentially just metagross shadow metagross um dusk main and then you can even use your excadrill i want to use that shadow has all steel moves getting stabbed it's going to be doing quite a bit of damage might as, well, might as well utilize it since i do have that thing powered up and then the old classic um this one right here all right so you want to go with sludge bomb and poison jab uh roserade is just stacked okay very underrated pokemon i'm gonna have to say it's a swiss army knife with all kinds of great moves good for uh rating as well as pvp in a lot of different leagues i want to say master though uh but there you have it folks just wanted to give you a quick little update there as to what is going on and so you are up to date on whatever is happening here so personally uh what you're going to want to do is just when we get the uh, time to evolve the wheezing into Galarian wheezing or the coughing into Galarian wheezing, then you do it because that's going to be your only time to do so. If you have a shadow, then that's okay. If that has frustration, that's okay. You can still evolve it. It's not saying, oh, you can't do it. There's no special move for you to acquire. So simply evolve it. And then when we get the rocket event, remove frustration and you're going to have yourself a Galarian, maybe whatever, maybe you have a shiny shadow, okay? Or a shadow in general, right? So that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, Zacian's definitely top tier. You want to do that. Shiny looks absolutely chef's kiss. I love that blue. And uh, looking pretty exciting for this event. So if you can give this a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.